Well that's us all arrived at Loch Drunke and it's just a wee meet up, there's five of us tonight and we're not actually far from the car. Um, because I'm camping low down, it's given me the opportunity to try out a different tent. So I brought the MSR Elixir 1 with me and I think this video is just going to be an opportunity maybe just to do my first thoughts in the tent. So I'm going to get it set up by now. Uh, yeah, it should be quite an interesting video. Some nice views as well, so you'll get to see them as well. Now the MSR Elixir 1 does not come like this. All the tents I use, with the exception of the Lansha and 1, I actually store them in a separate dry bag and compress them, just so I can fit them in the backpack. I've also got different pegs, and this is the poles of course. So it's not too bad, it don't take up too much space the poles. And this is it, it's just of course in a compressed state, but it comes with a footprint and a and fly sheet and essentially you just put the footprint up first which I really like, I'll tell you why in a minute then of course the inner and then you can put the fly sheet over the inner so it's mainly inner pitch first but I believe you can put the fly sheet up first but because it's dry at the moment, it's not raining we'll just put it in the order of the footprint inner and then fly sheet so that's the, um, the footprint of this tent up now what I like about this is this is the full inner basically uh, the full width and length of the inner. So what you can do is just lie on this and you can get a rough idea how flat your ground is. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we can just put the inner up now and that's what I like about it. It's quite handy for getting a flat bit of ground. Now the inner just goes into the same peg that the footprint does. It's really simple to put up, as long as the weather conditions are fine that is. Now the tent comes with three poles, two of them are joined together though. And then you've got this wee pole, which just holds the roof wide. You'll see that. It's the last pole we use though. And the tent itself is colour coded, so it's fairly simple to put up. But yeah, that's what you should see uh, when you open your pole bag. Now as I said, this is colour coded, this is fairly simple to do. Pole should cross over. And that's it, the poles are now ready to be clipped in. So, so yeah, grey on grey, red on red, all the way all around, and then eventually the inner will be up. And that's it. Now, the small pole that I was talking about, that just, like I said, just holds the roof up. Like that. Now, the fly sheet goes on a specific way. Of course, there's only one door with this tent. Now, it's quite simple, you just look for the zip. The zip's on the right hand side of this tent and it runs along to the middle. Another good way to remember it is the colour of the, the door is actually red. The rest of it's grey. So, the red side's the door side basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So it's just the same really, you've got to peg the, uh, the fly sheet out and I use separate pegs for the fly sheet. So I just start off at the four corners. Pegging ground's not the best, but I'll get away with it. I'll sort it out. So yeah, just do the four corners. Now as I've said, the tent is basically 
this kind of grey colour all the way around and the door side is red so it's fairly easy to remember what side's the door but yeah that's the tent up you could get away with it like this or you could guy it out I always guy my tents out doesn't matter where I am it's just a habit so I'm going to do it now that's the tent pitched up I'm happy with it pegging ground's not the best but what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick tour inside the tent I've done it before in my garden camp but I'll do it again uh, for this trip as well in case you've not seen the garden camp but it's a very impressive size this tent so give you guys a little look now now the access into this tent is fantastic and the inner door opens really wide so it's great for cooking it's great just to sit here take in the views and yeah there's plenty of storage in here I'll show you in a minute but it's one of the most pleasant tents I think for just sitting inside like I said if it's raining you're going to be you're going to be fine in here and yeah like I said I'm going to bring you inside the tent now but yeah the door rolls back it's out of the way opens up brilliantly yeah let's do this let's get inside the tent so yeah quick tour inside the tent now so we've got storage on the roof this is the only tent I own where I have storage on the roof so bonus points there and as I said there just I pointed over there first there storage on each side of the tent now as I said storage pockets are brilliant they're wide they're deep you can get plenty of stuff inside them and I find a lot of tents they just put storage pockets in the side it's just like a wee triangle or a wee square and you can only fit your phone in it no you can fit clothes in these you can fit you know wet gear like I said you could fit your phone your lights you can fit anything in these pockets really anything you're taking camping and I just don't understand why so many tents they just come with one pocket and it's so small that you can hardly fit anything inside it it's just absolutely useless this is fantastic and I think most MSR tents do have fantastic storage in them the Elixir one I can confirm storage is a 10 out of 10 so what I'll do now guys is I'll get all my camping gear inside the tent this will give you a rough idea of stuff like head height you know there's no point in sitting on the, the tent as it is and saying oh, I've got plenty of headroom when you're going to be sitting on a mat and you're going to be raised a couple of extra inches so I'll do all of that this will give you guys a better idea of yeah, the general space you'll get when you've got your gear inside so yeah, time to get everything out of that backpack so as I've said the space in here is fantastic and with uh, my camping gear in here as well just gives you a better idea so I've got the Rabbit Scent 900 with me, my first camp with this sleeping bag since December, I think. So it's a while now, it's now October, so 10 months. You've seen this mat so many times this year, the x -Firm from Femarest. And I've also got the Trekology pillow. So, quick look at the head height as I was mentioning. Um, you better try to test your head height with a sleeping mat. So I've still got plenty of room, I'm not the tallest though, I can fit in anything to be honest. So something like this does feel like a mansion. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a very very good tent, it's very spacious. This will do most people to be honest. So this is Monty's new tent, the Van Gogh Mountain F10 is it? Yeah, Force 10. Mountain Force 10. Yeah. And what's your first impressions of it? I know you've no camped in it, but what's your first impressions of it as it is and now? You know, I've waited, what, how long for this tent? A year? So, yeah. <laughs> Can't really fully comment on it yet because I haven't been out on it. This is the first time I've been out. Uh, we're expecting some wind, but yellow warning for rain. 12 hours, you know, sustained rainfall. So you'll get a proper yeah. first impression in the morning, but it's a spacious two-man tent. You can get three people in there. It's got great headroom. It's got a vestibule on either end. And the reason why I bought it, really the sole reason why I bought it, was the two extra pole, well, sorry, the one extra pole to give it that fully classic geodesic design, giving you extra, you know, stability, you know, and strong and winds. Strength. So, it, I mean, it's a lovely tent, it's a spacious tent, and it's a strong tent. <laughs> so, it's going to get tested in the rainfall tonight. That's one thing, it's the rainfall that I'm really looking forward to. So, this is the inside of the tent, just to give you a rough idea how spacious it is. Great headroom. Yeah, plenty of headroom. Not even in the centre, plenty of headroom. Great pockets, massive pockets. In each corner as well. Each corner, each side. It's 
we've got ventilation up here at the top. You close that over, open it up. Oh, right, you could also yeah. use it as a pocket. You've got the lantern hanging points here. And as I was saying earlier on, guys, the ground Plenty sheet feels a whole, whole mm. lot different, a whole lot smoother. You could easily fit a couple of folk in here. I mean, that gives you an idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. This gives you an idea. It's a spacious two man tent. Someone it's an ideal two man tent. And you've got, again, your own vestibule. A vestibule each, yeah. But uh, yeah, set up, closed cell phone mat, summer Eddie V sleeping mat, the Delta Exosphere, takes down to minus 10, it's not to get below 10 Celsius. Yeah, you'll be warm at night. My Trichology pillow, and I think you call these, is that a flannel pillow? So I have went for comfort and warmth tonight. Now there was a yellow warning for rain tonight, and it's just starting to come down now. This just gives you a rough idea of what the views are like here. At Loch Drunky. This does remind me a wee bit of Loch Granach with all the trees. Especially when you turn around and you see all this. And yeah, as I've said, we're going to be getting rain tonight. So it'll be similar weather conditions to what we got last year as well. Just getting a bite to eat, guys. That's what I'm having. Here he comes. I'm going to do a video of your tent. <laughs> <laughs> Start videoing each other. Boo. We've got a video standoff. There you go. I think mine's all win. I've got a bigger tripod. Hey. <laughs> well, that was not too bad. Really, really enjoyed that. It's getting a bit dark now. It's just gone 6 pm. So, not, not long to go now until it gets dark. So, that's the group there. All enjoying the fire. A wee bit of campfire cooking going on. Just to give you an idea. Um, there's my tent there, so not too far from them. It's a big space this, uh, plenty of room for, you know, plenty of tents, and you could get another one there. There's even more space further down there for more tents. So as I've said, it's getting a bit dark now. <laughs> so, I reckon the next time you see me, probably be when it's dark. Um, I've really enjoyed this so uh, we've been here a couple, about three hours maybe. I can't remember what time we arrived at but it's a good place to come to after work. This is the it's two weeks in a row now I've, I've came here after work for a, a wee camp and yeah I've really enjoyed myself. This is just over an hour from my house so it's always a good place to come in the winter when you've not got much daylight. I've just not got time to to climb anything at the moment. Not complaining, the hills are in the clag tonight. Well, as you'll probably hear, um, a bit of change in the weather since I last spoke to you. I did say it was going to rain uh, tonight. Now it's after midnight, I've spent most of the evening just chilling out underneath the tarp. Uh, we group camp and I got to meet a few folk for the first time, so yeah, it was good to meet them and I just kept the camera away basically. Um, I knew the rain was going to come down later on and I knew that I would uh, be filming it uh, throughout the night, so yeah, it's good to be back inside this tent just listening to the rain anyway. Um, I'm thinking of just getting a quick bite to eat and then you know, I'm in the sleeping bag now, but yeah, I'm charging my phone, it's at one percent, so a few things I want to do, but yeah, I reckon maybe half one, two o'clock, I'll probably be yeah, tucked up and ready for bed. But yeah, it's good just to be inside the tent listening to the rain again. So I was going to have this, but I don't see the point, I don't really need it at this time of the day. Yeah, I'm just going to have this, something warm before I go to bed basically, it'll do the job. Um, it just gives my phone time to charge a wee bit, but yeah, like I said, the vestibule in this tent is just ideal, as you can see, plenty of room. It's just great for this sort of weather, this tent, it really is. It's, it's yeah, I can see why so many people buy this tent. It really is good. Alright folks, so that's me having my meal. 
and it's just coming up 2 a.m. now, so I'm gonna wrap it up. And as you can still hear, it's, it's just light rain at the moment. We're due heavy rain. So. 7 a.m. tomorrow, roughly. I'll be up by then. So, yeah, we'll see if it comes. Um, it's not been too bad the rain, to be honest. Not heavy at times, but the worst of it's when I've been under the tarp. It's been, it's been fine since I got inside the tent about an hour ago. So anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the morning. Right. So this is my second camp at Loch Drunky. I did one here about two weeks ago. And, yeah. I didn't film it because my batteries, well, I didn't charge them until I got here. Uh, I realised that, yeah, they were all dead, so, yeah. It's good to get a video here anyway. The scenery's quite nice. Just look at how messy the fly sheet is. Not looking forward to getting this tent dried. I need a two day camp in this weather where I can just sit all day in the tent listening to the rain on the second day. Be absolutely fantastic, and then of course going into the second night as well. Yeah, I definitely want to do it. I think I've already said I'm not looking forward to getting this tent dry when I get home. It is absolutely drenched. Well, folks, that's me. Got everything inside the tent packed away. Just going to get everything down. Yeah, the rain stopped, so I'm going to take advantage of it. It's kind of on and off this morning. Alright guys, so that's everything packed away, just got some water there and my tent and of course the poles and stuff like that but I was uh, camped there, just in front of that tree, nice flat spot there a uh, really really enjoyable camp it went so quick to be honest they all do eh, when you really enjoy a wild camp, they all do it's good to see the clouds clearing a wee bit on the hill over there so I'm going to wrap the video up here so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, if you have, give me a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and until the next trip, take care.